had Monica dying laughing. Dude, he said, I want the lights up there. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yo, what's up, Ooh, everybody? We back with the Endgame up? Podcast. I'm Lynch Hunt. I'm Rod Brown. Hey, y'all know what it is. You know you're supposed to like, subscribe, share. Oh, you know, man. hit the comments. You know you're supposed to Don't do all that you nothing, shit. man. If y'all well, care about us, man. If y'all mm. care. If you care one iota about us, man, like, push the button, man. Subscribe. Share it more than anything. Share it to, like, 10 people. Yeah, we didn't get, get no new subscribers this week. We have none. None. Not sure. None. Yeah, sure. I'm de- definitely sure. Yeah, we got to put Probably it in. Probably got to do with our producer put in some work. Yeah, I man. think that, yeah, that, that clip that was put out right there wasn't an no, producer know. to put in. It some wasn't work, the man. one. <laughs> no new subscriber. That's EA. not the answer. Shout out to EA working EA. hard. Man, man listen, I had EA come over to uh, United Health Centers, the yeah. health center. Yeah. Uh, because, um, so a health center is a, it's a community health center. And then there are a lot of um, stigmas that come with community health center. Number one, it's a health center. So therefore, it's a free clinic, which is not true. Uh, healthcare is not free. Um, and then um, the other stigma is, or the other myth is, that the health care is less than. So, man, we, we, we put together a little mini doc. EA came over, man. We had, man, the room was like, uh, it was professional. They had robots with cameras on them. And they had these in, dope interview questions, man. We got, like, interviews and uh, an entire interview in Spanish. So we're going to have the subtitles because wow. we, we have a lot of Spanish-speaking uh, providers at United Health Centers um, here in Winston-Salem. And so, um, yeah, man, it was dope, man. He, he did a, yeah, they did a great job. You know, the, the prep part, I can't wait for the, um, the outcome. I can't wait to see the product. So talk about dope, right man. there, yeah. And Mandez, Mandez, he's the um, social media guy. So shout out Mandez. So he came, he did like some walk around kind of live, you know, conversations with people, and yeah. you know, so it was dope, man. It was I think I, I, is that the guy I met um, when when we yep. won that award yep. for yep. the? Yep, you met Mandez. Yeah, yeah. We was actually sitting at the same table that night. I think um, so. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all were up front. I was in the back. So I had the I had the. He was um, with the bosses. Nah, you were to teach you. I was with up front. Yeah. They were like, "Come over here." I said, "Where's Where's Lynch?" Oh no, no, no! You're not sitting up there. Come, come back here. So yeah, you you sit right here, sir. You 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 get served last. Sometimes that's where they that, that's how they say, "Hey, you know, we got to separate you from the bottom feed. We got to make sure that you know, mm. yeah, yeah, you're amongst you know, the the right kind." So yeah. they had you, yeah, they had you around the um, you know, where remember I went over there and. I started talking to this one lady. Well, she was the head of the Chamber of Commerce. And yeah. what's the name? She was at your table. Um, so you see how I do this shit? Yeah. He, he, he don't know all this stuff. Uh, no, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be putting him on. I'll be putting him on. I'll be putting I him didn't on. know. Well, anyway. Anyway. But Listen, uh, Valencia, the, hey, everybody was so amazed by the, our setup. They thought I was going to come in there with a ring light and yeah. an iPhone. I did. I thought it was gonna be a ring light, and you know, yeah. I, was, I thought his set was gonna look like my setup at home, but nah, man. They came in there with the big uh, umbrellas, and uh, it was it was dope. I bet you the person that cut that check ain't think that. I said, dude, he probably said you. They said, said you better have a, a crazy setup, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Seeing expectations. So. Hey, I be doing that too, man. When I come through there, um, and they give me that honorarium. I know they be looking like, man, this dude better be good. And when I blaze that joint, man, I be looking at them like, like we need to give him some more. I actually be saying it in my talks. I actually be saying, yo, I did this on the strength. They ain't even having mm. no money. To get. I just showed up because I'm for the love. And shout out to such and such because that's the only reason why I'm here. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, I be talking shit. Oh, I talk crazy And are, y- are y'all keeping up with this new economy that we're in? And talk to me about the economy, man. So, Ronnie James, mm. he made his debut. USC, How where we you know, know, you know, shout out Bronny James, man. So glad to hear that. I uh, never he's even fully seen him recovered. Play. You ever seen Bronny? Play? I never yeah. even seen him. Play. He's a baller. He's a baller. Um, he's not his daddy, but he's a baller without yeah. a doubt, yeah. right? And so he um, he had cardiac arrest mm-hmm. at practice one day at USC, um, and then he just got you know he got released from the doctors to play again. Okay, right? And so he had his debut as a USC Trojan okay. basketball player mm-hmm. where he didn't start mm-hmm. courtside seats mm-hmm. for Bronny's debut, 56 where he, grand. Where he didn't start. Where he didn't start, 56 grand. Dang. Dang. Yeah. Dang. They had tickets for 56 grand. The Lakers championship, the, the little inner, yeah, yeah, yeah. inner season championship Mid-season, game. The cup. The highest ticket was 11 grand. Dang. <laughs> 
So he beat that ticket price wise. Damn. So man, this is this this new economy is crazy. Well, they they know that they can take advantage of the demand. I guess. I mean, once the demand is created, they they put whatever tag they want to put on there. I mean, now we got luxury sporting events, man. You know, like remember those Colorado games were ridiculous. The ticket prices were crazy, like forty five hundred bucks for. It. How much are they now? Uh, can you Google it for me real quick? Um, yeah, it was the t- ticket what ticket you, price for a Colorado what you game. Saying? Right now. You think they, they de- they're devalued now? Uh, yeah, abso- they absolutely. Yeah, because they weren't winning. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You see, Dion, 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 Dion is still working his magic, man. Dion got he just signed mad uh, O line. Got to protect his son. He right? got. Five. Is his son going out? Is he coming out? Or uh-huh. he, going? he already told him. He said he ain't going nowhere. He said he ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, got got the, one of them. they got them. They got the linemen. He went and got five old line. He got the number one kid out of um, IMG Academy. Kids like six six, three hundred, something like that. Ooh. And so, and he said he he announced where he was going on first take, and uh, I, I saw that. You saw that? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And it was like uh, Skip was like, um, or no, was it Skip or I don't know who's on first? Yeah, Skip. He was like, yeah. Um, um, you know, Shadur was the most sacked uh, quarterback in the nation, and he was like, "Not no more." Mm. You know, he was, he was like, "Yeah, it ain't happening no more." So he got him a left tackle, my brother's yeah. keeper. One of the one of the games is showing uh, tickets as high as uh, fifteen hundred dollars on Ticketmaster for next year, <laughs> well, and, it's yeah. lo- and it's low. The lowest I'm seeing is four hundred and three on Ticketmaster. For uh, a crappy game, you know what I'm saying? Like for yeah. Nebraska versus Colorado, like I mean, yeah, it's going, it's going to go up. Glad that he do all these. Yo, own. look at Carolina Panthers games. <laughs> look at the ticket prices for those. <laughs> so my That's wife is crazy. a Panthers fan, and her sister is a Panthers fan, and um, I just been clowning them, man. My team is bad, but they actually believe that their team. Is. Matter of fact, <laughs> they her sister, their team. Her, yeah, her sister was like, yeah, <laughs> we're we're going to the Super Bowl in 2025. I'm like, Damn. yeah, right, whatever. But um. You gotta keep hoping. And, and at one point, we were like, "Man, we're trying to go check out a game, but like seven, eight hundred dollars a ticket." I'm like, nah, we will watch it at home. We can see replays. Oh, nah, eat popcorn. And so, but now we're like, "Yeah, let's go check out a game because they are, yeah, bottom of the basement." I saw um, JD had put up a post a few weeks back, and, and uh, it was the uh, it was, the car window was broken into, and they said, <laughs> yeah, right. he said, so, <laughs> said so you had uh, two tickets, two, two tickets uh, on his dashboard, and uh, somebody broke in the car and left six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing uh, tickets for as low as twelve dollars and as <laughs> high as uh, fifteen fifty. Shout out to the Panthers, man! Shout out to the Panthers. Damn, that's crazy. Shout out to Panthers fans. Shout out, shout yeah, out. I'm not even Carolina, going. I'm not even going to say here, who my man, team is, man. Yeah. We ain't going no, to say my team. No, 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 no. Um, man, I took it back to the basics, man. So I just want to kind of chop it up about that a little bit. Because, you know, we've been talking about um, the last part we talked about, just like some of the books that have, you know, impacted our lives, uh, influenced us a whole lot. So, like, um, one of the books that I just kind of locked into many, many years ago was They Can Grow Rich, mm-hmm. right? And they're like, these like principles that are tied to like 13 principles. And, um, and I got like rejuvenated, man, plugging back into that, to that knowledge and information. And it's not like I've, it's the first time I, I heard it, but yeah. it's like a reminder, I guess. A per reboot. Se. A reboot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I yeah. Like so it. like the, the, the first principle is desire. <laughs> Right. And, and what the thing that I noticed was that like that I here's something that I learned. Well, not, I don't know if I learned it, but the thing that I noticed or paid attention to that I didn't pay attention to before was that all of the principles um, are infused with emotion. Mm. Right? Yeah. And so it's almost just, like if the emotion is absent, then that thing is not really going to work or go or. or yeah. Well, I mean, you. that's. From our standpoint is. um it's it that's basic that's basic you know emotion you is is literally you know energy in motion okay so if you don't have an emotion how are you going to move so having the, the energy is the which what is the most important part having the energy and or so the emotion they, they're both equally as important they 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 tie in together Right. There's, yeah, it all has to has to go together. I, I, can I have energy with no motion? Uh, can, can you I have, have energy with no motion? 
Yes, you can have negative Second. energy. You can have a low energy. You can have bad energy. You all can right. have all types of energy. We have that's why we have the frequencies and the vibrations and things like that. All some right. people do things. Some people don't. Some people cr- procrastinate. Some people get stuck. Got it. So the first one is desire, mm-hmm. and that I guess the the desire is like the no desire. Nothing's gonna happen. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you sit still. Right. So then, you know, I often think about times that I felt stuck. And then I'm like, man, I probably just lack desire for whatever it is, you know, outside of stuck or whatever it is on the other side of stuck. Right. So I think when we talk to people, um, especially like in coaching people or even coaching ourselves out of something, most of the times the lack of desires comes from a lack of, of a goal or lack of purpose. So if there's no goal, then there's no desire to do nothing. The energy to like move forward won't really be there. You understand what I'm saying? So the first thing is to actually have a purpose. So you can't even achieve anything without desire. Right. It's like the. But you got to desire something. Got it. You understand what I'm saying? So that's where the purpose actually comes from. When you said it like that, you mean like that tangible thing. Right. So if you choose one like overriding life goal or one big, huge thing, Mm -hmm. then you create a burning desire that you literally consumes you Mm. like all the time to actually go make this happen. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. And that's when you get the people who are, um, you know, borderline obsessed. Mm. You get the 10 X, you get the, you know what I'm saying? You right. get the, I'm not stopping until I finish, you know, this, this, that, and the third. So that's, that's kind of like the, um, like, you know, you hear in sports all the time, like the person that oftentimes they don't have to have the greatest skill. Right. 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 But if their desire got and the their goal. drive and the yep. goal is there, yes, then, then they're going to devote them. all their time and energy to yeah. actually achieving that thing. Yeah, that's and that's how you take the the what uh, 199th pick and becomes like the greatest quarterback of all times. So how does how how do you think somebody that doesn't have any desire? Mm-hmm. I kind of pause because I'm like is is that something I can acquire? You know what I'm saying? Like how do how do I how do I get desire? How do I desire something? Is that a decision? Is you yeah, think it's a decision yeah. or is it a? Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know how we, we always talk about how, you know, you got to see something before you see, see something it. or you never see it, right. see it before you see it or you never see it. So you, you, you got to want to see success. You got to want to have success. You got to want to see better. You got to want to see the best. And that's why we always start off with those affirmations. And I'll be like, yeah. repeat that to me. Like I start all the talks off with the same joint. Yo, right. repeat that to me. That to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'll, I'll get them to that point. But remember the I am chakra mm-hmm. was the, remember that was the, like the low level because right. we got to meet them where they're at. And they really don't have that desire to be the best or to be prosperous. So I'm like, repeat that to me. I am prosperous. I am success. Yeah, I am it. great. So all that stuff is intentional. Like I literally, um, I'm not coming in there just to speak to you and rah rah you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I literally be trying to raise you, you, your consciousness, so that you're success conscious as opposed to being failure conscious. So we get the people in the gym all the time. It's like, um, I ain't saying no names, but you got right. some people that all they think about is how oh, I don't know if I can do that. First, it's like the first thought that pops up. Like if you come through the door already and you know why you're here, the purpose, right? right? Then second thing, you should already know that it's going to be challenging. And I'm going to spend this next 40 minutes devoting my time to achieving whatever it is that's thrown in front of me, right? Right. To getting over it, getting by that and doing it. That's why I don't know why people, I don't know why people go, I don't like this. This is going to be. To, it, it, you've never walked in this place and it's been easy <laughs> ever. Stop it. You've never, you ne- unless you just quit, right? Yep. You just went and sat down or whatever. And so with that desire, the, uh, I guess kind of the, the, the fuel um, to that desire is faith. Absolutely. Right? And it's not the, it's not the faith uh, that's often described on Sunday mornings. Right. Yeah, and, uh, and the no. thing about it is everybody has access to faith. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one of my shout out uh, Arthur Blue man. One day Arthur told me man, he was like, you know, a lot of times certain denominations think they have a monopoly on faith, mm-hmm. and you 
don't. It, as a matter of fact, you know, it, it, faith doesn't have anything to do with religion. Right. It doesn't have anything to do with, you know, a denomination or what have you. Faith is, you know, you just having this um, burning, like, mm -hmm. uh, this burning inside of you, knowing that whatever it is that you desire is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Come hell or high water, regardless of what you see, how you feel, you know that it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and so with that being said, um, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but Think and Grow Rich, a black choice. Mm -hmm. I read like in the county jail, which was in the beginning of my bid. You know, right. you first get locked up, you go to the county, you're awaiting trial and, you know, sentencing and all that different type of stuff. So I spent 18 months awaiting trial. Think and Grow Rich was one of the first things that mm -hmm. one of the first books I got. Dennis Kimbrough. Uh, Dennis choice. Kimbrough. Yes, yeah. yes. A black choice. You'll see a lot of clips floating around right now of Dennis Kimbrough and, you know, people are sending them to you, they're right. sending them to me yeah. and stuff like that. But I took some time on Dennis Kimbrough, you know what I'm saying? Right. But um, uh, one of my affirmations was birth. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I will persist in my efforts with unshakable faith in my own ability. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's literally one of the principles of thinking grow rich. To have faith in your, and be persistent in attaining right. your goals through what you're capable of doing. Right. You, you understand what I'm saying? If 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 um, if I can do all things, right? There's there's a scripture and the, the people think they have a monopoly on. If I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, then why can I persist in my own efforts with unshakable faith in my own ability. Can I, I can? Yeah. So that's why people need to understand that there's there's um there has to be a corresponding action with that big faith. Yeah. So if you have this big faith, you know the belief in the unseen, then yeah. you actually have to figure out how to do the action to make it yeah. be seeable. Because the know, action you know I mean? is the work. The action is without is work is yes. supposedly dead. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Faith without work. I heard. A, I heard a guy describe faith. Um, this way he said faith is um, building the garage knowing that the car is on its way <laughs> you, got a, you got a house you don't have a car you go ahead and build a garage yeah. knowing that the car is on its way for sure that's just how now, strong I, and, faith is but I see you do it all the time you build systems for where you're you know, for, for your vision, right. you know what I mean? For where you're headed and stuff like that, even though, you know, it might only be one or two of this right now, whatever you're building right. systems for. And I do it all the time, especially with the coaches. I'm like, yo, you know, you, you did this, that, and the third because it was only four people here. Yeah. I said, but you're not thinking about how this would have ran if that was 40. Yeah. There's no way that you could have made that happen. I said, you got to start thinking about 40 now because you're not developing the capacity to receive the 40. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and we, we, and I was, so I went to a women's jail um, uh, a couple of days ago right. and um, I was explaining to them how, you know, we're saying these affirmations and we, you know, we have this, this big stuff that we're looking for and these big goals that we're writing down, but we have to actually, you know, develop the capacity to actually receive that or else, you know what I mean? It, it, once you get it, it's just going to spill over and you, you'll have a hot mess and you know, you, right. won't be able to, you know, you won't be able to keep it. Right. You know what I mean? It'd come in and go out because you haven't developed the capacity to hold on to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, that ties directly into the next one. The next principle is auto-suggestion. Mm -hmm. It's basically like, and, and I know for me, like I, I just believe I'm just crazy enough to believe certain things are going to happen, right? But when there's no evidence of the thing happening, I got to constantly tell myself mm -hmm. that it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. This is going to happen. You just got to keep, keep at it. You got to stay at it. Yo, it's going to happen. So through all my like self-help studies, you know, just been rocking with this stuff for so long. Yeah. Um, it's just the, the, the power of the mind and the subconscious mind is just, oh man, it's, it's, I spend most of my lectures trying to get um, this, you know, this base level point across, mm. you know, the power of the subconscious mind, the conscious mind, the super conscious right. mind and how we can literally like suggest, you right. know, or deprogram and reprogram um, what we want to actually happen. So, um, uh, like and that's hard, man. Because I, I see, I can see and feel and smell the thing not working right now, right? But I'm saying, you know, I'm telling my subconscious, oh, this is going to work. This is going to work. Right, right. This is going to have this outcome. This is going to have this thing that I'm seeking, right? But uh, you know, right now, what's in my face is this not working. This ain't working. This ain't working. So I got, I have to continually tell myself um, and suggest to myself and to my subconscious, mm -hmm. this is going to happen. And, and so when, when you, why, why you couldn't, why you couldn't tell me we was going to talk about this? Like, like, anyway, uh, like, that's cool, it's cool. But when, 
in order to make this auto suggestion run um, uh, efficiently, yeah. you you literally have to make success the default. Yeah. So the reason why we find the affirmations, the 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 perfect words, the best pictures mm-hmm. for, for from auto suggestion is so that when we smell it not working, when we see it not working, when we feel the pain of it yeah. not working, we still have success as a default setting mm-hmm. through the suggestions that we've programmed in. As a default that, setting, like like what do you mean? So I don't wanna I don't we, wanna guess. So Whenever you get, um, I think we talked about this a few podcasts ago, um, things start going wrong. Mm-hmm. You have a, a default setting where you you resort to some type of um, comfort food. Gotcha, right. And it's your default right. setting. Now, imagine if that comfort food was meditation or something mm-hmm. like that. Got it. Then success would now be a default as opposed to hypertension, right. uh, diabetes, right. uh, you know what I mean? Like high cholesterol, the, the high, high cholesterol. cholesterol right. you, you understand what I'm saying? Yep. So that programming now has to be rewired. We have to figure out how to have a different coping mechanism or different trigger for a, a different reward for the trigger that's going to come anyway. Right. It's going right. yeah. yeah, it's, 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 it's to happen. Yeah, regardless, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I swear it's going to happen. <laughs> and then you do, you get, you get the freaking, the asparagus or the crumble cookie? Which one do you pick? <laughs> yeah, it's going to definitely happen. Ooh, man. It's I tell you happen. what, we needed two workouts for this morning to get rid of that crumble cookie. We needed two? What you say? Absolutely, because the crumble cookie like a thousand. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, like a thousand saying. calories. Yeah. <laughs> but see, you know, I done, I, done, I done made myself feel good about eating a crumble cookie because we chop it up into fours and I'm just going to get it. A quarter, a little of quarter, a quarter. Of get the little triangle. Who can eat a quarter of? I know, I know. <laughs> and then I hope, and then I hope, I hope somebody <laughs> over here like that's cap. But then I hope, no, it's not cap. But so because I got you know. Oh no, nah, not that way. But but then I hope people come back, like especially like when they do the chocolate chip joints. Mm-hmm. I hope people come and get the other three quarters. But if they don't get the other three quarters, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, gonna, it's be gonna be battle. tempting. It's gonna be tempting or something. Yeah. He's he gonna, he gonna spin the block. That, on that on desire that. about to come. He's gonna spin the block on that cookie right there. That desire, that his faith for achieving that joy, he's gonna be persistent. Wow, exactly. He's gonna think and think grow fat. Think and grow swole. <laughs> think and grow swole, for real, for real. Oh, so the next one, man, is specialized knowledge, right? So they talk about how knowledge is power mm-hmm. to the extent that it's organized knowledge. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And then to the extent that um, because, you know, they say knowledge will set you free and it's really not knowledge will set you free. It's the use of that knowledge that will set you free. Absolutely. Because I mean, a lot of people know a lot of stuff Mm -hmm. that feel bound. Mm -hmm. Right. They said Um, to know and not do is to, in fact, not know at all. Man, <laughs> he's like unpack that. <laughs> he's like, I don't know about that one. I'm gonna have to look it up. Right, right. <laughs> Let me Google uh, that. Re- one. No, repeat it one more time. Repeat it. To one more know time. and not do is to, in fact, not know at all. <laughs> oh, you close nah, nah, that? Nah, yeah, I'm, 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 ro- I'm, ro- I'm rolling. You gotta, rock, you gotta rock with it. Now I'm rolling. So, I'm rolling. so there, there's a sign on the door that says, "Do not enter." You will be burned by fire. You know how to read. You do not read. Huh? Mm-hmm. You go in the door and you get burnt. Well, what about, uh, I, I mean, I'm going to take, take a step <laughs> away. Right no, I'm take a step away. Like what, 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 what about comprehension? What about comprehension? Where does comprehension fall into that? Because like some people, some people, knowledge. some people, yeah, like they can, yeah, like some people can, it's, can, can take it and spit it back is out. The but the application of wise knowledge is the application of knowledge, bro. You literally got to do it. You got to understand it. There's the comprehension. Then you got to put it into play. And then once you unpack that experience and you do some reflection, you will be wise. So I watched five people go in that door, get burnt, come back out, mm. smoking. You hear me? And I put a sign on the door. <laughs> you think if they write, so the ones that lead the other people through there, right? They going to be held more liable at the end of the day from the creator mm. because they knew how to read. Mm. 
Now hold on, let's look. <laughs> now, 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 now let me preach right. right? Let me preach right. Yeah, now. I would love that. Right. So basically, what happens if there's a scenario where you got to go through the fire to get to what you need? Right. Well, you got to be able to come out the fire too. So there's an arrogant assumption that you you just gonna make it through that fire because let's see, you like that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try, I try yeah. to get you. I try to get you. I try to get you. Yo, yo, Lynch got yeah, something. Were you trying to? Were you trying for everything? Were you trying to justify going through the door anyway after? You saw the five not, people get burned. No, no. I mean, but my thing is like it's uh, not necessarily justifying like going through the door, but like you know, it's it's a it's a symbolism for like you know for something else like that. It's a tough uh, road, right? Like so and stuff and, like that. So it's like this. Let me tell you something, uh, and I'm gonna keep it super one hundred with yeah. you. Everybody that ran with me is not here today. Nice. Some people were dead. Some people were in jail. Some people um, are, are are smoked out. Mm. Um, like, so we all saw the writing on the wall. We all knew the consequences from our actions. All of us had an arrogant assumption that God, I guess, was just going to spare us from doing all this wrong to every last one of us was going to have the hand of God on us and go through this fire and everybody was going to come out um, at the top of their games and be motivational speakers right. and be rich again right. and survive home invasions. And right. like, it, it don't work like that. You understand what I'm saying? So, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm not arrogant enough to think that I'll give it one more shot and because right. I came out as a diamond this time, that that I, I won't be charred up on the next right. one. On the next yeah, yeah, yeah. You, right. you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, they be asking me that question. On I do mad interviews, bro. Yeah. And people be like, if you had it to do all over again, right. would you do it? I'd be like, hell no. You right. kidding me? That shit just, <laughs> man, that, I'm broke. That's, you that's, feel me? That's like, that's like the, the, the siblings that grow up in the same household, Ooh. close to the same age. They get the same instruction, the mm -hmm. same direction, mm -hmm. the same influences, but their paths are totally different. Yeah. Or think they're going to get away with the or stuff that you didn't get away with. with. Right. <laughs> right. But yeah, the other thing. night and day, though. Night, night and day. day. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's crazy. Because they didn't apply that knowledge. They didn't apply the knowledge that they got. Both of them got a, a, a father that drinks. Mm -hmm. One drink because the father drink. One don't drink because the father, the father drink. drink. Good. Good. That's Good. Duality Googly, for you. Googly. But um, on so on top of that, right? <coughs> the top of the knowledge. The next one is you imagination. You got to do all thirteen of these joints, man. We're gonna go into we, you think in, them people the about time. to watch all this, man. I don't care. We might need, to break it up we might need one. We get one, we one, one need subscriber. One. We need today. one, man. Off of this, one. this, this some good stuff. We need one. We, we, we listen. We I feel get, like, like I'm in like, the hot seat. Like, on this like joint. my man said, like uh, what was it, Master P said, he looked out in the crowd one time and. He Everybody was talking to each died. other. He saw one dude in the black Rapid rocket. Lyrics. He was like, I got him now. I got him. We just need one, baby. That's all you need is we one. just need right. one. If you that one, do me a favor, type something in yeah, the comments, man. Exactly, yes, man. Yes, 27 minute mark or something like that. We about to find exactly. out if we got one. Exactly. Listen, we just need far. one. Just need one. Special, uh, we're Shout talking about special Jerome, Shout out to Jerome. Shout out to Jerome. Because Jerome watching. He watched the whole thing. Jerome watches hey, the whole uh, thing. Hey, Brandon watched Come, the whole yeah. thing. Brandon, Brandon watched, watched. Shout out to Brandon, 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 Brandon watching yeah, the whole thing. Appreciate you, man. Jerome. Appreciate you, uh, Brandon. Brandon actually puts in the chat, yo, y'all need to check out this week's joint, yeah. man. So, they, yeah. so, L, you remember when we did the we did the pod about when I was like, I'm going, I'm a taker. I'm, I'm about to become a taker. And L told us what's going to happen, right? He got a phone call. Yes, somebody was like, that, what, is, what they say? That, that, that didn't sit right with me. I would need some clarification on, you know, on some of the stuff. They didn't and watch the pod. They, they, just they didn't watch the, the pod. They watched the clip yeah. that I told y'all our producer was going to do because <laughs> right. that's what you get paid to do. Because, you know, that's producer, why I'm here. Right. That's why you're here. He did his job. And I was like, yo, bro, like uh, people telling me like, yo, I look at him different now. All this stuff. I was like, nah, nah, nah. You got to watch you the whole watch joint that, because he going to get there. And I told you, I said, yo, Rob, people like they swear by what you say yeah. some people some people just want to see the world burn and that is me <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna get the, you we're gonna get the people match. going what you yeah. talking we're about gonna get the, no I'm, you, I'm you took the gasoline can you dumped it on a joint and you like here go the match uh, i tell you i tell you a pastor hit me about the the comment i said and it was just a snippet about people getting scammed at 11 a.m on sunday mornings mm -hmm. They ain't, they ain't, you watch the whole thing. You watch the. You watch it. They ain't watching the whole thing. Right? It's like, that's, how, that's how people read the Bible. 
They, 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 they get the they get the verse. They don't check the context. Mid-mark. Twenty-nine minute mark. They don't check the context. They don't look at the verse before the right. verse. They gonna use to condemn you. Or they don't the look after. at the verse uh-huh. after. So they running with that. They just running with it. Dang so man, on top yeah. of the the specialized knowledge, rod all on the deck. <laughs> yeah. What know. I gotta mix. What I gotta mix in there, man. And we talked about this uh, before too. Is a imagination Ooh. and how. Adults, we stop using our imagination. Absolutely. We don't use. I mean, as a kid, like I said, man, the floor was lava. You know, you oh, fought man. dinosaurs. You just, you yes. know, you turned a stick into a, 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 a M eighty. You know, yeah. but as adults, we just we just stop using our imagination. That, that's that's funny. So, um, I had some family over the other the other weekend, and basically, like this game that kind of got popular that was on Instagram, and the question was like, what's an old feeling that you miss? Right. And I remember saying, I was like, there was like this feeling that I had right after graduating college where I kind of felt like I was unstoppable. Like it was like you, it was like almost like, like this blind arrogance, but like humble enough. You know what I'm saying? Blind faith. And it was just like, I just knew I could do anything, but like, but then life humbles you. Right. And then you just wind up like, and you just wind up like, yeah, like everybody got a plan until they get punched in the face. (laughs) Nah, that's, that's, that's some real stuff. Um, you know, that quote, um, Imagination is the preview to life's coming attractions. Mm. So, you know, and like we said, see it before you see it or you never see it. And people can't really see past where they sit because it feels like, like you said, it feels like it's not working. Right. You know, it, it, they looking at it not working and things like that. But it it stems from you seeing that all the time. Yeah. And now that seeps into your, 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 your confidence and your faith and right. your self image mm. so we don't have an imagination because of our self image mm. so once we get people to you know figure out like how they see themselves and how you know the world sees them um they're able to kind of rebuild their self image through their um you got your your, your self concept yeah. So with the self concept is this whole entire thing of um, it, it's three things. Um, you, you're, the, the big one is the uh, the ideal self or, or um, so with the ideal self, we, we, we have a superhero concept. Mm-hmm. Remember, you said you felt like you were unstoppable. Well, we have to be able to actually like give ourselves a, um, an assessment or um, what do you call that when you get the uh, appraisal? Mm. Right. You get the appraisal, right. but we're always seeking that from somebody else. Yes. Mm. Right. And that's the, 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 um, what's the, what's the, the second one is you got your, the, um, what's it called when, when people, uh, uh, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is it? It'll come to me in a second, but we're getting that, um, we are trying to get that praise and recognition from other people or outside sources. So we can't see ourselves in the light of our imagination or in the light of, you know, unstoppable or in the light of a superhero. So one of the things that I actually do is get, um, I get people to kind of sit down and come up with their, um, the, the, the superhero concept or who they used to like when they were young kids. So like you said, you could think you could run through a wall and stuff like that. And you always hear me talk about like Hulk smash or, mm. you know, a uh, transformer rollout, you know, Optimus prime and stuff like that. And that's part of my superhero concept, which allows me to, once I, once I do this exercise, I literally tap back into my imagination all the time. So I could be, so I can have success by default. You understand what I'm saying? So in order to, Once you start to do this, like now it's at the forefront of your conscious mind. So you're going through something hard. You can kind of remind yourself that, you know, um, I, I always, uh, I win more than I lose. So at the end of the day, I'm probably going to win, you know, this one too. I just got to get through this hard part or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And then that success by default pops in and then my imagination can kick in and it's like, well, man, when I get through this, I'm going to be real right. high and all this stuff, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So focus well, more, basically you're saying focus more on your Superman and not your Clark Kent. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Focus, focus on your Hulk instead of your David Banner. Yes. The next next one talks about making decisions, man. You make decisions pretty quickly, or do you kind of stew? Do you like? Oh, uh, depends on. You have analysis paralysis. It, like, it, what it, makes it, a decision it, tough, though? Um, uh, the risk or the the uh, collateral damage that yeah, it might yeah, yeah, all those play in the fact. Yeah. It, it could be risk. It could be collateral damage. It could be reward. It could yeah. be you know. It's just a the highest bit. you know based on like the the study that was done. The highest achievers tend to make decisions pretty quickly. Mm. 
They don't they don't procrastinate on the decision and they they make that decision quickly, understanding that they are willing to um, accept the consequences versus taking forever to make a decision. And sometimes I will just kind of labor in making a decision about certain things. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I have but, to get but, better. But what that. about you? You asked him about why he does that. Why why do you stew on it? The 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 same same reasons a lot of times. It's like, okay, what well, like what's the especially when the uh, outcome or the consequence impacts somebody else. My decision impacts somebody else. I just kind of, I might, I might stew on that d- decision. Now what was crazy about it is oftentimes like if I am stewing on a decision that I think might impact someone, it not making a decision is just as risky and it's probably impacting the other people anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So not making a decision is just as risky as making a decision. So, yeah. I, I mean, when I look back on like the great decisions that I made most of the time, it was because I had the ability to create the time and the space for, you know, to think, you know, intelligently or think rationally or to think, yeah. you know, a little bit longer about what was going on, the ins and outs and things like Have that. Have you made a decision, though, that? You, you believe there was the right decision, but it was uncomfortable. Like there was nothing pleasant about it. There was nothing comfortable about it. Um, you know, yeah, it was just, it was just like excruciating. You ever made a decision like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah. And then you were cool with, you were cool with the possible outcome or you were cool with the consequence. Yeah. 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 It was just tough, like decision tough, tough decision, made. but yeah, uh, the, it still had to be made. Had to be yeah, made. yeah, it still had Got to be it. made. Yeah, because sometimes we get, um, you know, like a, a personal attachment to, you know, something that emotional. Some type yeah. of emotional attachment. emotional attachment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when stuff, you know, gets in the way. Um, this is like for me. This is the most. This this is really the evidence of all that other stuff we talked about, and that's persistence. Mm. Right. Yeah. It's that that's that drop of water creating that Grand Canyon. Yeah. Like you know, it's I'm I'm going to keep dropping this water. Yeah. I got to create a canyon, and you dropping water on the ground, people looking at you like you crazy. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? I'm building. I'm building a canyon. Chipping. Like, chipping you, ain't a, you ain't building no canyon. You just wasting your time, and you just out there, you still just dropping that water. But persistence overcomes resistance every single time. Every time. Yeah. Yeah, man. I think that um, a lot of times when you see something that's working or something that's dope or something that's like killing the game. Yeah. It's just one or two people that just You just see the tip. Yeah. You just, tip of that yeah, iceberg. You don't yeah, see yeah, you don't yeah, go, Oh my God. That you was don't good. You see them That's days that point. they kept on kept right. on fighting, they kept on going right. and they wouldn't be here today if, right. if that, that persistence or consistence was there. Man, it's good. I heard Jay say it. one time he was like, yo, the most genius thing we did was never give up. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. it. Yeah. And a lot of times, man, that that success, that achievement is on the other side. Yeah. Of you giving up, like you, oh, you're yeah. right there. Oh, like, yeah, I, I quit. I quit. That's too my soon. joy. I was the break or breakthrough. Do mm. you need a break or do you want to break through? Sometimes that breakthrough is right on the side of that that yeah. that, that one hit where you need a break. Jeez, just you take it too. Quit. You got to start all over. I was talking to Low today, and I was just saying, you know, I got this one joint where I tell him I was like, um, you know, the dopest part about LeBron is the fact that he's been good for a long period of time. Right. And if you want to be a goat. You have to be consistently good for a long period of time. I think that's the difference, man. Mm-hmm. I think not quitting, because so many people have quit. I, I believe, I don't believe there's there are people that are unsuccessful. I just believe there are people, a whole bunch of people that quit, <laughs> right? Prematurely. <laughs> Prematurely. And so, you know, because you're, you're not a failure until you quit. You know, you might have fails, temporary fails along yeah. the way, but you're not a failure until you absolutely quit. And that thing, persistence, is the thing that won't let you quit, no matter how it feels, what it looks like, right. what they call you, what they say about you. You keep going, man. So, um, yeah, persistence is definitely definitely a key. Quick random fact. So yeah. they said the other day, it was like a, a post interview with LeBron, that he is older than the Utah Jazz's coach, head coach. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I'm just that saying. Is wild. Why you say that's wild, man? 
I mean, because it just you know, it just shows the like the like he's not he's not regular. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like he's you know what I'm saying? Like the fact that he's been able to stay healthy and to still perform at a high level. Yeah, there's like a, just a level of respect that you know that you just kind of be like you know you just kind of like marvel at like yo like that's that's the real deal. Right. So the next one. Is you know has been um, I've heard people have some controversial things to say about it because the next one is enthusiastic support, which normally comes from those that are closest to you, mm-hmm. oftentimes your spouse. So it's like if you look at um, the success of you know both men and women, they were they shared a space with a if they're married or have a significant other, mm-hmm. they shared a space that they had someone. Who um, hyped them up? They had a hype person. Yeah, need that a ton of t- that gave them a ton of support when it was looking great, when it wasn't looking great, when it was looking rock bottom. They still had that hype, man. They had their, they had that flavor, Flav. And as crazy as Flav was, if Flav was still hype. Period. You never knew if Flav had a bad day. You never knew if Flav was mad before the performance. You never knew that because Flav was Flav. So you got to have that supportive uh, that support system, and then. Um, that support system has to be consistent. Mm. Well, I mean, they have to be consistent um, in the time of need. I think they have to be consistent, period. Well, when you... Not just not in really, the time of need. Nah, nah yeah. not really, because um, when LeBron's off doing his numbers, you know, he has the, the drive, he has the, he has the desire, he has the faith, he has the success by default. He has, you know, all the ones, all mm-hmm. the things that we're talking about. He has the imagination to be the best player ever, you know, stuff like that. But there's, you know, times where he feels like, you know, dang, my shit aching. I'm getting old. I feel old. Right. Um, you know, I got to show up tomorrow. I got to do this therapy. I got to do this workout. I got to do all this stuff. And the support around him has to kind of see when he's not at a hundred or he's not optimal and stuff like that. And those are the days where you got to step in when you operating on like 110, like Monica don't need to hype you up that day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you already rocking the energy is already in motion, but the days that you really, really need it, like somebody has to be conscious of that. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But I think too, because you know, we talk about consistency. Mm-hmm. It's like, like, can you turn the support on and off? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because people got their own shit going on. I mean, like, people, yeah, people, no, people, people do all the time. Yeah. Like, you know, when you when you win the lottery, oh, we won, we won. But when you when you you broke, oh yeah, like you you bankrupt, like you broke. <laughs> yeah, but 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 you want that support all the time. That's what I'm saying. You want that support when you win the lottery, and you want that support when. You got to decide between gas and but, the light bill. But that's, you, what, but, that, but that's what that's what Lynch is saying. He's saying like yeah. I guess it's, oh. I guess he's saying like you need it more. Like it really counts right. when you're not up. That's right. what that's what I got from what. Yeah, you I mean that, that's that's true. But I guess I, I just need <laughs> I need the consistency. I need to see, you know, not just from my spouse, but from like from the camp, you know. Like yeah. So daughter, so with that, about you know, with that fighting. camp or with that community or with the you know the network, you know, is some days. Your your number two score is yeah you know is the power forward. Some days right. it's actually you know the point guard that steps up and there's the shooting guard. So you know everybody it ain't gonna always be your wife. Some days oh, facts. your wife. But tripping. I need to know that I just for me I don't know and this, and this could be my emotions coming. Out. I just need to know that the squad is the squad. So you you're right. It might not be my wife, but I know. The point guard is gonna step up. Or yeah, I, I just need to know that the, that squad is solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I'm so, so you know, at the end of the day, uh, you're the you know you're the one man in 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 this whole thing. You're gonna be the one man, and I think your flag carrier is going to change all the time. It's That's not true. always yeah. going to be Pippin, right? Absolutely. Like you know what I'm saying. Hundred percent. So you know yep. you know that that. Paxson or, you know, Dennis Robin does what he does, but, you know, 
will he get the ball in this situation right here? Uh, probably not. Like, you know what I mean? Today is going to be such and such. And then right. some days we don't know that Ray Allen's going to hit the corner shot. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's the he's the he's actually the three guy on this team now. Like, you know what I mean? He's not the one or the two oh, or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, he's not the lead. You know what I mean? But, hey, when I got to kick that joint out, like, yeah, he we, there. We, we expect knock him, down. We expect him to score. Though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So he there. You know what I mean? To do what he do. So, right. you know, it's, and then... You know, we like you got to think about it is like, are we that enthusiastic about our support to our spouses all the time? They know we're there. Right. They know we're a rock. But yeah. I got so much shit going on. You ain't about to see me jumping up and down at every goddamn game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> you, yeah, I'm like true. babe, what you, you got going them, on? Right. So shout, shout out to Wendy anyway. So yeah. I sent Wendy an Instagram uh, post. I sent my wife an Instagram post. Um yesterday mm -hmm. yesterday and it was um it was a lady who who, who was like um 30 things that every man needs to hear mm. um why you saying that and because it was dope it was like oh. super dope oh, okay. and wendy called me today and rattled off the 30 things oh dope. like yeah it was super dope it was wow. super dope so i'll send it to you you know what i mean after this oh, so yeah, you hear it, but it um i sent it to, to her i'm and petty it was though, just I'm like mad. they were just supportive uh the no, it was just, they're like supportive, like phrases or stuff like right, that. Right, but, yeah. you know, it's not like you need to hear them every day right. or anything like that. But yeah. it's like instant energy. That's dope. Nah, you know what I mean? Ryan sound like he, he's petty aggressive. Like if he sent nah, that, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, uh, there's something behind it. Like, yeah, like I mean, because we just learned earlier that knowledge that's not used is what? It was never it's, knowledge. It's, it was never not. So, never so. Knowledge. Sometimes we reminding each other or we're getting information we're like, oh shit, like, you know, this is something that should be a conscious living practice if I want my relationship to vibrate on all levels. So yeah. think and grow rich is not just in me chasing a dollar. Like, nah, you know what I mean? Like I need my relationship to be rich. You know, yeah. I want my marriage to be rich. So I want success to be a default. So when people are speaking, I need the words of affirmations that yeah, maybe come from. That's a t-shirt. Success is a default. Mm. So that's a t-shirt right yeah. here, man. I'm a goat by default. Goat by default. Yeah, nigga. However it go down. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to my brother again. I was telling him I'm a G-A-O-T. I was like, I'm a goat of all things. I told him I'm the greatest. It is at everything That's or what something. I'm a I told man. him something, man. My man spell. My man, who I forget who it was. He said, I'm a goat, G A O T. <laughs> but he didn't, he spelled it wrong. Yeah. I don't think he was saying he was a goat. I was trying to say uh -huh. that I was great at uh, all things. I forgot what I was telling him or something like that. I don't uh -huh. know what I was telling him. Was I was gat. on one last night. I was talking crazy shit. Was they gat. was cracking up too. Uh, the I next like, one, man, is organized planning, man. I struggle with this one. That's why I got to have a good team. Organized planning, right? You know, having, you know, people around you that, you know, they have a practical plan. I can come up with a plan. I can come up with a strategic plan, but I got to have the pieces in there to execute, to help me execute that plan, yeah, right? Because yeah, there's yeah. a bunch of stuff I don't like doing. And when I don't like doing that stuff, it's hard for me to do it. And it's laborious. And then, I need you, help with you that shit do, right now. You will jump in, but you will do. It. So I, I called him EA. I talked to him <laughs> yesterday, right? Hey, what's up, man? What you doing? Oh, man, he said, "Hold man. on, hold on, hold on. I got to put my AirPods in." I'm like, "Hi." Right, right. So I was holding. He put his AirPods in. And I'm like, uh, he was like, "Dang!" I'm like, "What you doing? Putting up these lights on the house? I'm on a ladder, man." <laughs> I'm like, dude, you are not built for that. <laughs> Why did you get somebody to do that? But he, but you, you like that. You gonna Isaiah figure it out? Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I got some. I got Isaiah, man. I got somebody to come put them yeah, lights up sound, for you. That sound like that sound like Home Alone waiting to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So he 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 gonna try it. He gonna try to figure it out. That's Absolutely. why he can. That's why he can shoot, edit. All voice that. over a, a video all that put stills in there all that <laughs> because, ASAP. you know i tried a couple Executive times be like, nah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah, dancing nah. all in the video yeah, he's, like, yeah, he's, let me get ea to do this man <laughs> <laughs> let me get ea to do this like that. Yeah. come to yeah. death row yeah, right. nah lynch only brings me on when he just needs it quicker <laughs> oh right, right, if, right. If, he oh, it, yeah. if he does it if he does it with enough time i won't even be i won't that's even a factor be into the planning right getting it done efficiently Right, so yeah, so we got to bring on, you know, I like the experts, man. I like nah, the experts. Nah, I, I need help right now with like organized, yeah. you know, organized, some doing some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah this, this is the dope, dope saying right here. It says, with no place to go, disaster is a probability. It's a probability, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a probability. I definitely heard that one before. It's a probability. Yes, so sir. 
the joint, the lights fell down twice. Yes. The lights fell down twice yes. yesterday. What? <laughs> what? So let me tell but you I will why. persist in my efforts without <laughs> shame or faith in my own ability. <laughs> so there have been requests in the past to have lights put up at his house. <laughs> right? That went, uh, that fell on, on deaf, deaf ears. ears. That's right. Right? Uh-huh. Until Tootie. Tootie. The two year old, three year old, three, three year old on her way to being four year old said, I want lights. We was like, you got lights on the bushes. Mm-hmm. You got lights on your Christmas tree. He said, no, I want lights on my house. Damn. Guess what? Mm-hmm. Lights got put on the house. Damn. <laughs> got soft, man. He is uh, got up on the ladder. Soft, soft. About to fall. They fall down. They put him back up. He don't quit. He's persistent. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And then <laughs> the baby sees the lights. And what she said. I want lights up there, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> she points to the top of the house. I'm like, so I proceeded to give one of my lectures to Tootie this morning on the way to uh, daycare. Tootie got tears coming down and everything. I'm like, Tootie, daddy did the best he can. Uh, you, you, you always treat me like this. I'm like, yo, why you do that to me? You know what I'm saying? I do everything. Woe is me. She got the woe is me speech. Oh man, she got. I'm like, Tootie crying and everything. I want mommy. Come <laughs> right. on, I don't get all this going to school. Yeah, well, I'm just trying get to get my day started. I'm just trying to get you some lights. Right. I get you some lights. You want more lights? I got right. you more lights. You want more the, lights? What's the lesson, man? I know there's a lesson in there. The lesson is, man, my daughter bougie already. <laughs> the lesson is, yo, I was putting her coat on her. I'm like, yo, Tootie, you got to put your coat on. Let's get ready to go. Right. She said, I can't wear that one. I wore that one yesterday. Wow. You think you got enough wow. coats for all the days of the week that wow. you can't repeat your coat? Yeah, she believes that. Some, some that belief is instilled. So because her mom is some type of fashion guru mm. and keeps switching up and popping tags on stuff mm. every day. She's showing off for at, at, at school. That, Yo, like, yeah, and they come, this my this my Wednesday coat. No, nah, they come Thursday in and say, "Let me see what your outfit looks like." The teachers, let me see right. your outfit today, today. Legacy, yeah, right. you're always dressed so nice. And then one lady said she gets it from her mom and her dad, and all this. I'm like, oh man, mm. what are y'all putting in the subconscious mind of my, my child? child? Yeah, hey, that, that's, that's what they say about yeah. education in the U.S., man. But she will have dressing hey. nice by default. <laughs> hey, success by default. Yes. Uh, the next one, man, is pretty dope. The power of the mastermind, man. Damn, talk to me about that, bro. So, what you know, about? like, it, I've been a part of several mastermind groups, and, you know, we have a mastermind <laughs> group, which is so dope because the, the thing that a lot of times people that are high achievers, um, you know, they say they're lonely at the top, mm-hmm. and they're not really lonely. It's just that there are certain conversations that can't be had. Right. And so if you surround yourself with people that can have and really engage and give you real support in certain conversations about certain things, you feel safe and you feel like "Ah, I'm not the only one and a whole bunch of other stuff that comes with that. Right. But um, which ties into that adage that says, hey, if I want to I want to go fast, I can go by myself. But if I don't go far. Yeah. If I want to go far, I go with a group of people. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so the mastermind groups that I've been a part of have been dope because, I mean, I'm not the only one dealing with stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They say they say good ideas have come to an an individual mind because uh, a result of meeting with a committee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, yeah, shout out to um, the uh, Seven Figure. Seven uh, Figure Summer. Seven Figure Summer. Seven, seven figure summer, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to our mastermind group, but shout out to the new mastermind group that we'll be, um, you know, launching. Uh, when is that? January. When's that gonna pop? January, we're, we're popping in January. Okay. We're popping right. in January. Early January, we accept mid January. Yeah, we accept the application early January because yeah. we got um a manifestation challenge coming up. So nice. Yeah, it's gonna work. It's gonna be dope. You believe in that manifestation stuff? You mean I can't just go buy something or it don't just happen automatically. I I, I have. You believe I have control? Of yeah. bringing certain things to my life. That's what we're talking about now. Um, okay, I'm just saying. Yeah. I want to make sure you believe. Auto suggestion, all that different type of stuff. That is literally is the. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, and this is this is the go to. I'm just gonna throw the alley oop and shut up and get out the way, man. But um, the subconscious mind is a mental area in which all inputs through any of the five senses are classified and recorded. Yes. 
And what goes in your subconscious will yes. come out in the natural. Yes. Period. Yes. So all people have to do is think of subconscious mind. Now, it's, it's way easier <clears throat> to teach the subconscious mind now. You know why? Wow. I teach it like this. What do you mean? And when I say this, I say data. Okay. Apps. The, your phone only has the capacity of what data can be stored and retrieved on it. Period. I do editing on my phone because I have an editing app. Mm. How did I get the app? I had to download, download the, the app. app on the actual phone. Right. So some of the things I can do on my phone, other people can't do because they, one, don't have the actual data. Right. Two, they want, so when I go there, I get the biggest storage plan. Right. <laughs> yeah. I got One day it. he told me he was like, "Man, my my phone slowed down. I can't do no more videos." I'm mm -hmm. like, "What do you mean you can't?" He's like, "I was like, like what? How much storage you got left? I don't have any left. Right. Like, how big is your storage? You got two terabytes." I'm like, "No, you don't." Yeah. He showed me. I'm like, and they're and they're used and they're used. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I got I grabbed the the two terabyte plan with iPhone too, but I share it with my wife, and I'm still we're not even at a terabyte yet. And yeah. I'm like, how you, it, how at, you got look two how much, by yourself? Look how, look, right, look how much she got because uh, my uh, my image <clears throat> right is a, a of a content creator. Mm -hmm. So I remember my my first audio book was um, Gary V. Um, Crush, crush it or crushing it. Mm -hmm. one, uh, one is called crush it. One is called crushing it or something like that. Right. So I forgot which one it was, but this was like 2012 or 13 or something like that on Audible. And I think there was one thing that was in the book that like kind of stuck to me. What's he up? said, in terms of content, he said, as long as you capture it, you don't have to create it. Mm. Damn. Yeah, he was he was big on um, on documenting. Yes. versus like create like quote unquote creating right because it's like content, because there's know. a usually there's a, a bigger splash that you got to do when you're trying to create because yeah, you're trying to like because yeah. it's all front loaded but yeah. if you're just documenting and it's putting it out it's kind of like the consistently iterating and improving over time yep mm. got it so you got to figure it yeah, that, that was i mean basically my business was, a lot of my business was kind of based off of those building blocks dope see that that's super dope some principles right there. And it worked for, worked for him. Like, don't, you know don't I mean? create, you're saying don't create the content, just capture. Well, if you capture it, then now we just repurpose it. Well, later yeah. on. Like, so basically, it. so basically a lot of his stuff was more like, like in terms of documenting. So like if you have like that, that unattainable goal or that's something that seems completely out of reach. So for him was, he wants to be the owner of the jets. Right. right, right. And you know, this in terms of, you know, and it's a whole bunch of thing about getting the money, or if they want to sell and all that stuff like that, right? But then, you know, he's come to terms like, you know, it just may not happen, not because he can't do it because of whatever the reason, right. but it's just the, the journey to to getting to that that place, mm -hmm. right? And then just documenting everything and just, and basically sharing, you know, and, and sharing that stuff, like, yeah. You know, so a lot of stuff, he, you know, you may have I mean, a we, vlogger. We're watching, we watching it now. 30 million to uh, Kanye West's people that follow him with cameras 10 years right, ago. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? You watching yeah. Beyonce at Coachella behind the scenes. And like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody right. just took the play and like, yo, let's rock with it. You know what I'm saying? We watching reality TV. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody get in the bag. And then they come with scripted stuff. So now they're just repurposing the reality part to tie in the narrative that they want to get across and sell to people or program to people with. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Yeah, I mean, some pretty dope stuff. Yeah. But what was that point again? At yeah, that point? No, we're yeah. talking about subconscious mind. Oh, the subconscious mind. Yeah, yeah. So um, so what what'd you say, though? Oh, uh, the inputs. And I talked about the phone. Yeah, inputs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the inputs. So I was saying all that to say the subconscious mind has two primary functions to store and retrieve data. Right. And then that data that it stores and retrieves determines how we act or react, right? right. And then that is responsible for 95% of our outcomes. Right. So that's why everything we do is habitual. Yeah. Everything we do is 95% autopilot because of the data that's stored and retrieved. Now, if we wanna change our outcomes, we actually have to store, the uh, change the data that's stored on the hard drive. Right. Because if we don't have it in there, then we actually can't operate and function from it. Yeah, you can't. You can't 
access something that's not there. That's right? not there. <laughs> right. There you so go. you got to put so it now. You're asking me to do something that I don't have. Yeah, on, right. On asking the you to do something you don't and, have to have for. And then even you, you got to be up to date, right? Because like you know, your Absolutely. device might not even be able to absorb right. like the download. That's why I said exactly. it's easy for me to actually do this now because if I want the new version of me, I actually got to come in and plug in at nighttime and see the uh, update and say, okay, here's what's required of me to actually get the updated version of my my thing right. so I can p- perform at the new capacity. Right. So when we teach in this, we say, oh man, the most opportune time to deprogram and reprogram your subconscious mind is at night when you're going to sleep and in the morning when you, you first wake, wake up. up. Right. That's why you can't do the download until two, three o'clock in the morning all the time. Which segues into the power of the brain, understanding the power of the brain. When you understand the power of the brain, that, like you said, two major functions to store stuff and to what access the stuff that you yes. store. Mm-hmm. And when you understand that, you're going you're gonna to try to dump as much stuff in there as possible. That will help move you towards that which you want to achieve, not just garbage. Right. Because garbage in, <laughs> garbage, garbage out. out. Yeah. Like, period. And then good in, good and out. Then, right. Now you put great in. And then great greatness out. out. Yeah, go ahead. But the, but people, go. People, go. Under, people understand that, that they, can, they can spend hours putting this garbage, garbage in and still want to go be great. Right. But it doesn't work but that you way. Override. It the, doesn't work that way. Images. Right. That are being placed there. The mind only works in pictures. Right. Period. Yeah. That's why the imagination is so important because you're actually putting a different picture. picture there. Yeah, there Absolutely. Go. But people like, hey, why not, why haven't I done this? Why haven't I accomplished this? Because of the, the garbage that you continue to dump into your but they don't know. subconscious. So they don't know. They don't know what? They don't have this information. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I thought you meant the they powers didn't know that it was garbage. Do. So they're feeding them what they want them to actually do. So you got subliminal advertisements. They said the, got, the, the, the TikTok in China, kids don't see nowhere near as much as the, the, stuff the trash see. that yeah, we see. None of the stuff. Yeah. They got a whole nother joint. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they but, I mean, but I mean, but you gotta understand too, like uh Uh-oh. attention is our biggest commodity here. You know what I'm saying? Like we literally trade in attention. So it's just like, I feel like it's natural. I mean, it's not to say that all of it is good, but like one of our biggest exports is like kind of like entertainment. Type no, of you're, you're absolutely right. So it, it, you have well, to understand what side of the ball or coin you're on. Yeah. If you don't know what side of it on, then the entertainment is what's programming you. So it programs you to actually spend your money. It programs you to act a certain way. It programs you to to want the things you see in popular culture. You know what I'm saying? To have attain that lifestyle. To, to, for me to get a tattoo on my face. You understand what I'm saying? For me to get a sleeve. Forget it. You know what I mean? Like that. Like that is what where the program come from. The, the reason why I made this action is because I saw this for 17 years in front of my door. It was the first thing I saw when I woke up in the morning. It was the last thing I saw before I went to sleep. So when it's time for me to actually be put in a position to make the same decision, I already have the reflex, the data there to store and retrieve it. And for me to act in a manner where, oh, yeah, I got it. Hold on. I know where to get it. Boom. Here. You understand what I'm saying? The repetitions is what actually makes it happen. But we don't. So what's what's the next one? You said the power of the brain or something. Power of the like that. brain, yeah. We're so talking the power about the power of the brain. brain. What we don't understand about the brain is we have something called the reticular activating system. Mm-hmm. The reticular activating system is you ever uh, you you ever want a new car, EA, and as soon as you get in your mind that you want this car right here, you start to start see it all the time. It. Yeah. Yeah, now and you as soon, see as soon as, and as soon as you buy it, as soon as you buy it, it's like everybody got yeah. no, no. Before before you before, buy, I'm about yeah, to walk you, you through the saying, steps. I want to get one of those. You start saying I want to get one of these. Yeah. Yeah, and you true. look at it, you screenshot or something like that. Now you about to see this joint everywhere. Yeah. Right, right, right. Now that you start to see it everywhere, you about to take the next member, learn in the sensory, so you go get it all, all senses. You might go to the lot now. Yeah, it's a wrap. Then. You go to go to the lot. You sit inside of it. Now you actually feel what it's like to actually drive it. Right. So you get this on this sense, right? Yeah. Now you get, you got the feeling. Yeah. That's why before my boy uh, uh, Dale opened mm. up his Guru Fitness and yeah. what's the name? Shout out to Dale's on his third location. Yeah. He got Shout his third location. Dale, but awesome. we knew Think and Grow Rich from top to bottom. Right. So Dale drove from Kentucky. I want to mm. open a gym. Let me go see it before I see, see it, it or I never see it. I already have the desire. Right. I already have the purpose. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. built that when I was locked up, right? right. I'm sending them pictures. Uh, shout out to Wandell, who Wandale. plays for the, the, the New York New Giants, Giants right now, yeah. right? Wandale Robinson. When Wandell came to Jersey to see his dad, I'm coaching and training in, in LA Fitness, mm. right? 
He, his son is a football player. He's probably nine or 10 years old. Guess what he does? He comes to train with me because yeah. I've been rocking with his pop in prison, in prison for right. 10 years. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So since you in Jersey about to visit your pop and you love training, then you come on over. Right. And then I say, yo, I'm doing a, um, a camp for Deshaun Jackson this weekend. Right. Come to come the camp. Through. He right. won to come to the camp. He won all the events and stuff wow. like that. No, wow. no, you, you understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So I send him back the pictures of his son training with me. And now it's like, oh, I done seen it before I see it. But he see it on a visceral yeah. level. Yes. He, yes. he, he, he feel it in, internally right. like right. he's been touched by it you know what I'm saying his son come back and talk to him about it yeah, you know what I mean yeah so now he got that energy he got the yeah. frequency he got the vibration to actually make this shit it's happen emotion. he drive from Kentucky with his now wife to actually see what we got going on see the system see the warehouse see everything mm. the people coach some of them see, the see grunge, what I'm saying yeah all that stuff yeah. so that he can now see it at every light right you know what I'm right. saying and now he right. can go find out what his credit look like, yeah. like you know so once you get in the car, they're yeah. going to say, hey, come in here and see what's going on. Right. At, in, in a matter of two weeks, you about to have a car. It, man, it's amazing how those steps, and, and those steps, once you go through that process, you make the drive down to see it, those steps that are necessary to make it come to fruition, they just start happening. They start coming towards you. They start coming towards you, right. That's why we run a manifest manifestation challenge. Yeah. So I can literally do this to more people that just like Dale. Right. Dale has three gems now. I love just it. like his boy. I love like, you know what I'm saying? I love it. Yeah, all I had to do was go in front of him. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's all I had to do was send the pics back. You know what I'm saying? All I had to do was take his calls. I used to send Dale screenshots of my my um my log, my book, mm. my um uh, uh clients for the day. Gotcha. I'm like, yo, you can I couldn't go nowhere. I'll right. book people through lunch, me. Right, right. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? I had to eat lunch at the joint because yeah. I'm in the halfway house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, I'm booking clients. Mm. Yeah, I ain't gotta eat. You right. know what I'm saying? I ain't eat for 10 years. Right. Give me some oodles and noodles right. later. I didn't eat because you know I mean? I'm about to eat. Yeah. 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 But anyway, yeah. shout out to that and the power of the Shout out Dale. System. That's good, man. Shout That's good. Shout out Dale and Wandell. The last and Wandell. He was eating this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he had man. a great game this past weekend. Um, the last one, man, is the uh, Sixth Sense. Some people call it the Sixth Sense. Some people call it the Holy Spirit. Some people call it your gut. Uh, oftentimes, people just don't obey it, though. Yeah. It's Ooh. there because it's, it's a system that's already built in. It's a built-in warning system to help direct you, a built-in GPS system. But, that's you know, we, we, uh, we oftentimes ignore it. We often, uh, you, you know, it's something inside of you telling you to go left. Go left, go left, go left. You get to the intersection and you go right for whatever reason. And that that thing inside of you told you to go left because that's the way you're supposed yeah. to go to help, again, get you towards that thing that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. But we just, we, we ignore, ignore it. Ignore it. Yeah, cause, we, we, we ignore it because of the flesh. Yes. So I we agree. talked about, we, remember I talked about sometimes I got to create the space to like, uh, to think about this, you know, rationally and all that, but that there's a word that I always be using when I say intuitively. Mm -hmm. I be trying to get cats in the gym to think instinctually. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the fact that um, uh, you know, I'm always hollering at Marlo, you're too robotic. Mm. Once you get the system, you let the system go. And then now, when you got to, I asked him the other day, I said, when you, when when somebody, he was a running back, I yeah. asked him, I said, when, you know, you're supposed to go through the hole, cut to the outside, right? Once, what happens when the backer fills the hole before you can get through the hole. Mm. You have to make an instinctual move. You actually have to pivot. You actually have to change courses. Right. So do you know your stuff enough to right. be able to pivot on a dime, right. instinctually, intuitively? Yeah. You think that, uh, uh, what's the name, didn't have the fundamentals down before he started doing crossovers and right, behind right. the backs? Like AI was nice because he was able to move instinctually, intuitively on top right. of the fundamentals. Because he did it over and over and over and over Absolutely. and over and over and over again. Man, watch, watch the um, the Netflix joint about Barry Sanders mm -hmm. and just like his cat-like ability. And just the that's what I use as a reference. Oh, is it? I didn't okay. even see the yeah. joint, but that's why I was man. like, "Yo, you think Barry Sanders was going?" Man, it's, oh my god, it it's dope, man. But yeah, that, that's it. I was just saying, check out, check that out because you're right. That instinct is that thing that's is programmed inside of you, yeah. right? And what was what's what's interesting is why do you think like uh, God like made that the basis of the animal kingdom and how they move? They the a animals move based off of Instinct, instinct. Yeah, yeah, right? They don't have, um, most don't have the mental capacity that human beings have. Right. And they, they, they follow their instinct to the letter. Yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't, you know, 
they don't go away from it. They just follow it to the letter. And, 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 and we don't do that. And we have all of this mental capacity. Right. And that's the problem. Uh, all of these base levels are, are literally um, wiping out. the. So they're not programmed. This, they're not programmed. They're they're, um, they're not programmed the way we they're, are. they're not programmed with the emotions. The emotions. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With yeah. The, the with the lower self to guide yeah. them. So we're, a lot of us are moving in the lower self. But to be instinctual, uh, is you actually have to be working in between the subconscious and the superconscious. Got it. So, you know, they're they they don't have all this lower stuff blocking them out and program. We're programmed to like So they 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 are they are actually they actually have free will compared. They, they are closer to free will than we are because we think we got free will. Well, we don't because we've been programmed for so long. I'm doing stuff because I was raised to do it. I'm doing stuff because my uncles did it. I'm I'm wearing stuff, certain things or whatever, because my uncles did it. Not necessarily because that's what I, want I understand to do. where you're going with it. But yeah. but no, not really. And that's the, the reason. The reason why is they there's there's no negotiation between the, the cub and the and, and the life. parent, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. It's it's no there's no negotiation. Right. Go wake your kid up for school. Yeah, go yeah. wake your kid up for school. There's a negotiation right there, like right. from the rip, right? You know, and it's because we're comfortable in the, the 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 grief, the apathy, the fear. There's too much of that going there, and it's not, um, yeah. you know, it's not all the other, you know, emotions and yeah. stuff like that. You know, the what male, I mean? like, the male lion takes over the pride, kills all the all the baby cub, the male cubs. Yeah. That's, that's that's what we do. I, I instinctively yeah. do that because I don't need no no competition at some point in the future, right? So they better toughen up. That's right. They better so, toughen up. They better yeah, get out here and tough, do what they, what he said. That's it, man. But that's thing, grow rich, man. We did, we did a whole rich. book in seventy minutes. That's tough. I guess they need to get to reading. They need nah, to get to reading and watching read. our podcast. Thinking grow rich, a black choice. Yeah, Dennis Kimbrough, yeah, yeah a yeah. black choice. I mean, they're two two. Dennis Kimbrough was actually commissioned to, to do the same thing for um, for his community, uh, for people that look like him. And so yeah. he went in, you know, did a, a yes. rendition of Think and Grow Rich. But it know, had, back the, to the, it had the stories of all like the Oprah Winfrey's yeah. and the Magic Johnson's and right. stuff like that. So, you know, for me, how it was they one of the, the early books that I read. You watched the uh, Tyler Perry joint yet? No, no, no. I tried to start Johnson. watching it, but I just couldn't. Uh, Trying to put yeah. some good stuff in your subconscious, man. 30, 30 minutes. To, to, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. I got you. Yeah, what That's you got, it, man? It's over. Uh, basically, um, the new brand, you know, Moment Frames. We uh, they had some representation during um, uh, Art Basel stuff like that. You're what, in Miami? Yeah, yeah. Like I was supposed to go, but it was some some stuff, some conflicts. But had some representation man, down there you that should have got up. Moped and got down there, but yeah, no, you know, you're 100. What you right. had to do to get down there to Art Basel, right. bro? Now, but uh, got some good leads that came out of that. Oh, good. Um, so nice. uh, I'll tell you, tell you guys about that. Nice. You know, um, yeah, in terms of some people who want to, because basically we brought like our the ones that we have, and we brought some prototypes down there, nice. and kind of got some some real real buzz, like people were traction, like, yeah. Dope. So just Super you know, dope. got a couple of people that I'm, you gotta, gotta track. You know, you gotta track down after the the high of being there oh, at no. our Basel and stuff like that. But um, this is looking pretty good. You know, you know, you know where the fortune is, right? The follow up. Fortune. No, yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah, fortune I'm follow up. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I mean, like I was getting calls like as they were like my my guy was like like pitching and stuff like that, like yeah. calling me mid event, like hey, can you explain this to me real quick? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's let, you know let's have a meet next week or we can go through a demo nice. and we can love it. go through something. I love it. Good stuff. Congratulations. Hey, I, I, Appreciate I, it, man. I want to thank the people who watch our show for liking it. I want to thank you for subscribing on YouTube. I want to thank you for sharing it to at least 10 people. Uh, it doesn't cost you to do anything. I just want to thank auto you. Auto suggestion. I want to thank auto suggestion. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you for helping us grow this podcast, man. Hey, man. I'm out of here. Uh, you're out. Hey, I'm Rod Brown. Peace, power, love, man. I'm Lynch Hunt. Peace. Thinking real e rich. Hey, sports, he's in the game.